best of British music today. Mm. Now, Simon's going to help me with the bow tie during the segment because that's, that's what I want to look like. You look for. like John Travolta. Now, in the spirit of all things royal, a servant's world is a fairly secret world, and butlers must adhere to strict principles of behaviour, be discreet at all times. Now, in the lead up to the royal wedding, there's more debate on the palace. This is what's going to happen before domestic the Domestic staff gets... than ever, and the world watching there um, better get it right. Not like these guys. It's kind of comfortable, really. They're the hired help we're used to seeing in Hollywood, from buttoned-up British butlers breaking with convention. Have fun, old bean. It's the servants on the small screen. Where would Will Smith's Fresh Prince of Bel-Air be without Jeffrey? This is for you. Oh, but I didn't get you anything. <laughs> or Fran Fine without quick-witted Niles from the nanny. I don't know why. I just love weddings. No, oh, we all want what we can't have. <laughs> Rosie from the Jetsons was the perfect all-rounder. Come on, Rosie. Show me your hook shot. OK. Here it goes. <laughs> in the basket. While Alfred always kept Bruce Wayne's Batman in check. Cold. It's a fishy swell, sir. It's supposed to be cold. Can't help but wonder if Rosie, uh, if Lindsay Lohan had Rosie from the Jetsons, if things would have turned out differently. What about real life butlers right here? You just gonna do that? Okay. Uh, right here in Australia, joining us live in the studio is Morgan Ingmeyer, Managing Director of the Butler Service, the uh, secret servant. Good morning, Morgan. <laughs> Morning, Larry. Morning, Thanks. Sam. Morning, Morgan. Hello, Simon. Um, how does the modern-day butler compare to the traditional butlers that we see in the movies? Uh, well, we still see a lot of the traditional skills uh, of, a, of an old-school butler being practised uh, today, but uh, we've developed more into residential managers uh, in today's world. We have to be across yep. a far more uh, broader scope of skills. Okay. In, in, in management. A right. uh, quick TV history, my first uh, hand tied bow tie ever. Thank you so really? much. Really? Oh. Wow. <laughs> we'll need you in Melbourne on Sunday for the Loki, Simon. Oh. What are the rewards, Morgan, of being a butler? Uh, is, are you well Thank paid? You. We are. Keep it down. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. We are well paid. Uh, it, it is a job that demands a lot uh, when you're at work. Um, obviously, we get the pleasure of uh, being amongst um, the world's, you know, um, very wealthy and very yeah, famous yeah. people, um, and, and that's certainly a privilege to um, be working um, for, for people like the Royals, for example. What, what about here in Australia? Why are Aussie butlers so in, in demand, would you say? Uh, Larry, I think it's because uh, we're just that little step down from a gentleman's gentleman, that very traditional um, idea of, 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 a, of a butler. Mm. And uh, I think people like Australians more because we're more flexible, we can work, work with people and, and we've, we have a more approachable attitude, I think. Okay. okay, and you actually provide services to grooms on their wedding day as well. We Tell do, so that. we have a service called Grooming the Groom. Uh, it's a wedding day butler service for the groom's party. Uh, the idea came out of uh, thinking that, you know, the ladies have a very special day on the day of the wedding and we just sort of thought that the guy should enjoy a really special day as well. So we go and take care of them for the day and take all the worry away from them on their special day. That's a great idea. Now we hear you, is it brushed shoulders with royalty yourself or brushed the shoulder of a royal? <laughs> I, I have had the pleasure of uh, serving some members of the royal, the British royal family. Yeah, who? Uh, Come on. Well, Come I, on. I had the pleasure of meeting uh, Prince Charles and both William and Harry. Uh, a right? few years ago now, they were a little younger than they are now, but both very lovely young men and uh, and their father, obviously, as well. W was that sort of doing some work for them or was that with uh, them? I was actually working for uh, a another gentleman on an estate in England. Uh, this is a difficult conversation for you, isn't it? Uh, no, it's, all, it's OK. And uh, they came they were playing it. polo, so they, so they came over to the house after a polo wow. match for afternoon tea and, and I had the pleasure of serving them and meeting them then. Wow. That's cool. Imagine yeah. all the stuff you would hear. Well, That's good stuff. We'll and talk now, to you in the ad break. Now, yeah. <laughs> now you've met Samantha Armitage, she's going to be on Dancing with the there Stars. You go. So you've got gossip yep. plenty. Thank and yourself, you. Larry. Good to see you. Thank you That's very much. That's a beautiful tie. I'm not taking that off you look between like a now and the Logies. That's mad just that. professor. <laughs> Thanks, Morgan. <laughs> Thank you. Just ahead on the show, it actually does make you look really intelligent.